What's up, guys? I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Today, I want to introduce an authentic Malaysian Chinese recipe called Kam Hyung Chicken. This dish is a homegrown recipe created by the local Chinese that uses Chinese and Malay ingredients. You expect a sauce with the savory flavor of dry shrimp that is mainly used by the Chinese and curry leaves and spices used in Malay cooking that contributes to the unique taste and no other sauces come close to it. Due to the intense savory of this sauce, the Kam Hyung sauce is perfectly for chicken and other seafood. So today I'm going to make Kam Hyung chicken. Let's get into details on how to prepare the Kam Hyung chicken. I'll start with cleaning the dry shrimp with water. Change the water until it's clean. And then soak for about 15 minutes to soften it. Chop the bird fine chili. And if you can't take the heat, just pick up the chili and throw away the seeds. Besides that, we need some curry leaves. Roughly one small bowl. Along with the chili, some chopped onion, chopped garlic, we're going to use these four ingredients to cook the dry shrimp. Remove the dry shrimp from the water. And then dry with paper towel. Because we're going to fry it afterwards, we do not want the oil to splatter too much. Heat some oil in a pan and saute the onion and garlic over medium heat until aromatic. Next, add the chili. and the dry shrimp followed by the curry leaves by now you can really smell the aroma from all the ingredients Let's cook a little while over low heat until all the water from the dry stream has evaporated. The color has also become slightly darker and is now very aromatic. Besides that, we also need curry powder, the Malaysian curry powder, some oyster sauce, You can refer to the recipe for the exact quantity that I use. Light soy sauce. Sugar. Dark soy sauce. and mix it with some water to form a paste with that let's come back to the dry shrimp and pour all the seasonings into the pan
Continue cooking until nearly all the water has evaporated. The gum hyeong sauce is ready. You notice that I did not put any salt because dry shrimp is pretty salty. I made more sauce than what I required today for the chicken. So the remaining, I can use it in the future for any other dishes such as any other seafood, prawns, clams, etc. Let's proceed to the second part of the recipe, that's the chicken. I use bone-in, skin-on chicken thigh cut into chunks. You can use any part of the chicken as you wish. It's best to marinate the chicken with some light soy sauce some oyster sauce cornstarch and some oil massage all the ingredients into the meat and marinate for one hour the traditional method is to deep fry this chicken and then mix with the gam hyung sauce to serve that's the most efficient way to do it in the, in the restaurant but today I'm going to roast it in the oven at home since I cook it at home I do not need to use so much oil if I roast it and it is also healthier so today's method is unconventional instead of deep frying it I'm going to roast it in the oven or if you have an air fryer you can air fry it Roast the chicken at 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, 30 minutes up because these are small pieces, it doesn't need to be too long. The remaining part is pretty simple. Just make the gum hyeong sauce with the chicken in the pan. You may want to just add a little bit of water. When the sauce starts to sizzle, add the chicken and combine it well. Coat the sauce on the chicken thoroughly. Dish out and serve. Garnish with some curry leaves and serve. That's how to make gam hyeong chicken and I hope you love this recipe. I've included the recipe in the description below the video and also the link to the blog post where you can download the recipe. Please subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you again in some other similar videos. Bye for now.